Hi, this is Vicki. I've been asked to do a short demonstration on how to sew together the seams that join the two crowns to the band on the inside. This way um, the, the crowns will stay aligned without having to do any top stitching on the outside. So what I have is a, a cap that's partially assembled. The purple piece is the band and the yellow pieces are the two crowns. So they've already been uh, joined to the band. So here I have the band. I've made the, the crease on the band before I did any sewing. And then I will find the notches on either crown piece that correspond and I will line them up and I'll just walk you around. That's the one side notch the center notch. I happen to have a seam there because I started with fat quarters on this one so instead of the center notch on the band it's a seam but it's the center notch on the crown and then around to the other side notch. So I'm going to start at one side notch so around the top curve of the crown through the center notch and to the other side notch. You can pin these if you wish uh, I'm not going to pin them because I'm just going to line up the notches. So I'm starting at one notch. I've got crown on top, folded band piece in the middle, and the other crown on the bottom. Since this is on the inside and there won't be any stress on it, I'm not going to back stitch. I'm just going to stop stitching maybe just a little bit inside the seam allowance from where the seam between the crown and the band is. So just as I have to do when I'm sewing the crown to the band, I have to stop and realign every once in a while. But I use those notches as a guide. So I've now started at one side notch. I've sewn across the center. And I'm sewing around to the other side notch. And that's it. Cut my thread. Now it looks like I kind of made a little sandwich there. So this part of the band you can still see is open and the other side as well it's still open. It's just stitched across the center between those two notches. Now I still have to put in my ties. So the same as before. I'll put one tie in where I've made that fold in the band piece. I'm going to pin that one. I'm going to check and make sure that, that that's one of the seams between the crown and the band. The crown and the band. Both sides of it. So those line up. And I'm going to flip it around to the other one. Get my other tie end in there. Line it up with the other fold. And this could also be pinned but I gotten where I try not to pin it any more than I need to. So the tie is right there in that fold. There's the other two seams between one crown and the band, the other crown and the other side of the band. I line those up and just as previously I'm going to push one seam in one direction, one seam allowance in the other direction so they kind of nest together and line up. My strap is right there in the fold. And then I'm going to put that down and this time I will back stitch because I want that strap to be really strong. So starting at the fold where the strap is, sewing a 3 8 inch seam towards where those seams meet. Then I'm going to back stitch and cut that one. Then I'm going to leave the bottom ends of the crown open because I need an opening to turn. It's, okay, that's the, yeah, that's that strap. Now I'm going to restart stitching at the other set of seams. So the yellow is the bottom of the crown. Here I'm flipping one seam one way, one seam the other way. I'm going to start 
approximately where those seams meet. Back stitch, so my 3 8 inch seam across to where the other tie is. And again, back stitch that. Cut, and I'm done. So I don't even bother trimming those anymore because that's all going to be inside. So now here is the proof. It's still going to turn. Again, it's like turning a bag. Still going to turn right side out. The straps come out. I give them a little tug and make that corner flat. There's the other strap. The edges of the opening will turn in. And I can give my one crown a push into the other crown. Now see, those won't separate. It's going to stay lined up. I don't need to do that top stitching around here that I was doing before. It's about the same amount of steps, but it's way neater. There's no top stitching, no stitch in the ditch. And then I finish by again stitching over from one corner where that strap is making sure that opening in the bottom of the crowns is lined up and then just stitch all the way across that back edge so this is the only top stitching I need to do and I saw a comment today by I'm not sure if it was a maker or a nurse but the less top stitching on the outside the better because top stitching especially on the band piece that touches a person's face and forehead can cause um, uncomfortable marks on the face. It's just like not wanting seams in your bike shorts. You don't want extra seams against your face. So there it is. It's completed. Yeah, I can kind of pull that out, but it's no different than it would have been with top stitching, and then I just have to put my buttons on.